Today in Reviewing 2, we've got the Marmot Minimalist Jacket. Why the minimalist? Well, I wanted a lightweight jacket that was travel friendly and an effective rainproof shell. There are plenty of rain jackets at varying price points, levels of effectiveness, and aesthetics, but the Marmot was the one I liked the best. Highlights. Marmot provides a shell that not only adjusts to fit comfortably, but still looks good and handles everyday wear and tear. One of my favorite features is the hood, which can be adjusted to move side to side with your face without blocking your peripheral vision. The side pockets are large enough to fit your hands, as well as a point and shoot size camera, while the water resistant zippered chest pocket pocket is great for keeping your ID, cash, and credit cards dry and accessible. What else? I appreciate that the sleeves are longer on the exterior to keep the back of your hands dry, while not obstructing your palm. The hood brim is just long enough to keep the rain out of your eyes without obstructing your vision. And I've never had any issues with water soaking through the exterior into the interior of the shell. Basically, the minimalist keeps you dry. Drawbacks. When you cinch the hood down to fit snug, the extra drawstrings dangle and are not only annoying, but can get caught in the front zipper. Marmot. Route them back inside the jacket. What what else? Listen, it's Mr. Crinkle. <laughs> I know it's most likely the Gore-Tex lining and almost all rain jackets have that crinkly kind of sound, but I don't like it. Yes, it's a bit nitpicky, but I honestly don't have any other drawbacks for the Minimalist because it's that good. My conclusion is the Marmot Minimalist is a versatile three season jacket that not only provides watertight protection, but still manages to look good while doing it. It's great whether you're walking to work in a shirt and tie or hiking in the mountains with multiple layers and a backpack. My minor nits with the hood drawstring dangles and Mr. Crinkle Vortex are far outweighed by the jacket's design, performance, and versatility. In fact, when the day finally comes to retire my minimalist, I'll most likely get another one. For more reviews as well as my travel itineraries, Google Maps, and more, check out traveldispatch.blogspot.com. This is Review 2. Thanks for watching.